right. I'm going to play one more match and show you that. It's going to be the Golgari Rise again. And I think that might be a uh, Return to Ravnica uh, themed deck. Then you have the Madness deck, which I believe, I, I think I've played against it once. And uh, I can't exactly remember what's in it, but it's completely nuts from what I remember. So uh, that's going to be interesting. Dun, 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 dun. Mm, no, let's not keep that, but let's take a look. Karasta Monitor, no. Drag Mangler, insane. Karasta Guild Mage, well, kind of insane. The fact that you scavenge for five, actually that's not that bad, but it, the fact that it's a 3-3 three, three with haste and it's a 3 cost in, in, in this deck, <laughs> Man, okay, that's not the best. Uh, morbid at the beginning of each end step. If a creature died this turn, destroy target non-demon creature. Okay, actually, let's draw a new hand again. Oops, Slitherhead. This is actually a lot of people don't like this, but uh, I kind of like it, especially if you have. Um, I don't have it in hand, but I'll show you if if I draw it. Uh, I think it's called um, the Lolith Troll. If you have that, you can sacrifice or you can discard a card and give the Lolith Troll um, plus one plus one. So you sacrifice this guy, put him in your graveyard, scavenge it for zero, and the Lolith Troll becomes plus two plus two just from that interaction. Um, very nice little thing. Okay. Swing in with uh, Monsieur Slitherhead. In, in case you didn't know, uh, the scavenge uh, ability is um, uh, when when you have a creature with scavenge in the graveyard, um, you can scavenge that card. That means this uh, exile it from the graveyard and put as many plus one plus one counters on target creature as the power of that um, uh, that scavenge creature. So, for example, this one would just give plus one, plus one, but it would do it for free as long as it's in the graveyard and you have that option. So that's pretty cool. Karaz the Guild Mage, in case you didn't know it, uh, is a uh, two cost, two, two, with uh, two pretty, pretty awesome abilities. Uh, the first one is a three cost ability target creature gets plus one, plus one against Intimidate until end of turn. Second one is a four cost ability sacrifice non-token uh, non creature. Put X one one green sapling tokens, creature tokens onto the battlefield where X is the sacrificed creature's toughness. So you can, for example, uh, sacrifice your Trestle Troll. I don't know why you would, but you can and get, uh, I think, three or four um, three or four sapling tokens. This guy is nuts. Gerard Golgari Lichlord, four cost two two. Gerard Golgari Lichlord gets plus one plus one for each creature card in your graveyard. See, this is pretty cool, but once you start scavenging your creatures, then it becomes significantly smaller again. But there is some pretty nice interaction, which is much easier to to work with in in duels of the planeswalkers that it is if you're playing paper magic or if you're playing uh, um for example uh playing the game in cockatrice basically all right it has a secondary ability which is for three you can sacrifice another creature each opponent loses life each opponent loses life equal to the sacrifice creature's power that's fucking insane and on top of that that creature just hits the graveyard makes gerard a little bit bigger Sacrifice, uh, if, if uh, Gerard is dead, it has the following ability. Sacrifice a swamp and a forest. Return Gerard from your graveyard to your hand. So late game, that might be very significant, um, especially if you have nothing else that you can do. So I don't really have anything I can drop this turn. So I'm just going to swing in uh, my guy here. So if he has tricks, he'll have to choose which of the two twos he wants to do something about. By the way... Uh, Death Presence is a pretty interesting card. It's actually more than a little bit interesting. It is fucking phenomenal. It, um, whenever a creature you control dies, put X plus one plus one counters on target creature you control, where X is the power of the, uh, the creature that died. So, actually, if, if you have Slitherhead, for example, which is normally not that great, um, and you... Wait, I think... Okay, 
lot left troll i said it was discard a card it's not it uh, or discard a creature card i think it is sacrifice a creature so what i did once was um i think if this is uh if i remember correctly i had death presence down i had lot less troll or troll down i dropped slitherhead sacrificed him which gave plus one to plus one to my troll and the fact that it was a one one made Death's breath, uh, death, pre death's presence uh, put an extra plus one plus one counter on it, and then I uh, scavenged it, and uh, that was a total of three counters. I think it went something like that. I'm not entirely sure, but uh, yeah, pretty interesting. Nonetheless, Gerard's order is also a great card here. Um, this is Gerard, by the way. He is uh, an undead elf, uh, an elf lich, which is an undead uh, wizard. Um, that does necromancy and stuff like that. Uh, Gerard used to be like an elf that uh, was uh, pretty high up in the ranks of the Golgari, and uh, I, I'm not entirely sure why, uh, because I haven't really read the books yet, um, um, plan on doing it, but uh, he died and uh, he became a lich, and uh, he became like the guild leader for for the Golgari at some point after the think the the sisters uh the medusa sisters or the the gorgon sisters died anyways um this card uh, does the following search your library for up to two creature cards and reveal them put one into your hand and the other into your graveyard then shuffle your library pretty interesting especially when you think about the fact that a lot of creatures have scavenged so you can put a great scavenged creature into the graveyard and uh, take advantage there Okay, Basking Rudwala is a one cost, one one, and uh, you can pump it once a turn. But oh, it's the ah oh, man, it's this deck is crazy. Uh, it has this madness thing going where if you disc if you discard a card, you may uh, cast it for its uh, cast uh, madness cost instead and uh, instead of putting it into your graveyard. So it has a lot of self discard me mechanisms and a lot of madness cards actually a really interesting mechanic okay i have a second uh, guild mage don't really want to waste it here I don't really seem to be uh, drawing the lands there so let's see what he's up to okay oh that was oh man i thought of, uh, it was trample i don't know why did i think it was trample well guess it doesn't matter i guess this was the right play because uh, since I made the mistake of swinging in, um, but then again, got rid of this guy and fine. Still wasn't the best play for me, but I do have the second guild mage. All right, wonder, four cost creature incarnation. As long as wonder is in your graveyard and you control an island, creatures you control have flying. That is fucking phenomenal. Great card all around. Okay. So finally, I can start. Um, so, what do I, do I want to swing in so I can get? Um, yeah, I kind of do. Kind of want to get him down on my. Okay, it's not for him. It's not the. He's not into tricks, or he doesn't like the fact. Okay, you. Damn it! That sucks. So now, in order to return him, I pretty much have to sack a land not because I'm really land flooded or anything. Actually, I'm closer to being mana screwed. Even though I'm, I'm not that bad off, I have the Gerard's order so I can thin out my deck a little bit. And um, I do have the Cross the Guild, so I do have things to do, so to speak. What is this? Discard a card, switch. Okay. Switch uh, Aqua, um, Aqua Amoeba. Uh, uh, power and toughness until end of turn. Well, that's great. That's fucking phenomenal. <laughs> yeah, why would you do that, you dumbass? You're not going to swing in this turn. See, the AI is not always perfect. This, by the way, would be great in a Celestia deck. Uh, put a 6-6 six, six green worm, to uh, worm creature token onto the battlefield and you could flashback it for fucking four. That's incredible. Uh, of course, its its initial casting cost is a, li a little expensive, so you might just want to discard it early on and just cast it for its flashback. But uh, being able to populate this is so fantastic. All right, so let's see. That actually works out pretty well. 
Um, yeah, let's let's just keep it at that here. Um, lucky, I get to draw another land, and I get death presence, and suddenly my side is just a never-ending spiral of insane counter interactions. <laughs> it's it's gonna be sweet. Hmm. Yeah, that's what you wanna do. Okie doke. Nice. Okay. Oh, because. Oh, man, because of course he's. He's sacked. It's a 6 6. It's a fucking 6 6. Draw, draw two cards, discard two. This is such a great, uh, great deck, though. Such a great deck. Um, yeah, kind of need some stuff going for me. I think I'll drop Gerard next turn. Um, because then at least I'll have creatures to put on top of him and so on. So I'm down to 16, and I really, I think next turn I need. Okay, arrogant worm. Well, that's dynamite. And the madness cost is is three. <laughs> okay. Take it. Take it like a biatch. Um, okay, pretty good. Uh, because then I can actually afford to play Gerard. Okay, let's uh, let's. Do this. And I'm not too bad off. I can cast another card in my deck, so that's pretty good. Um, so I have a four-four here, and um, yeah. And I can sack creatures as well. So that's that's gonna be nice if, like later on. Um, ah shit! I'm almost gonna die this turn though, uh, because I don't really have any answers. For well, I do have. Well, to put in hand I kind of want I kind of okay that would be nice but I kind of can't afford it I need a do I have a trestle troll I do not have a trestle troll why isn't there a trestle troll in this deck uh, it means that I don't have reach oh I do have Sanikev locust which uh, yeah but don't I have something else something with flying and preferably well I do have the Dacodrome Imp. So that's, yeah, okay, so that's gonna stall him a little bit. And um, I'm thinking, thinking this thing. That's good. Okay, but uh, of course it's not gonna be enough. Yeah, it's not gonna be enough. If I could survive one turn, I would be able to do some pretty nifty things with this guy and uh okay great uh hmm. yeah okay okie doke okie dokie dokie doke yeah i'm just dead here of course so yep that was uh <laughs> That's the final match I'm going to play in this session. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, pretty interesting decks, definitely. The Madness deck is just completely nuts. Um, so, yeah. Again, hope you enjoyed it. I'm Multimedior, and later.